In this example, we're going to calculate the beat frequency between two different waves. So let's begin. How many beats will you hear if two identical flutes try to play a frequency of 280 hertz? Assume the column of air in flute 1 is at a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius and the column of air in the second flute is at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. So, let's begin by recalling that the velocity of our standing wave produced in each flute depends on the temperature of the air. So the equation that gives us the velocity is given by this formula. So the velocity of air is approximately equal to 331 meters per second plus 0.6 T, where T is simply our temperature in Celsius. So, the velocity of the standing wave that is produced in flute 1, V1, is approximately equal to 331 meters per second plus 0 0.6 times 0 degrees Celsius. So we get a velocity of 331 meters per second. So this means that the velocity of the standing wave produced in flute number 1 has this quantity. Now, what is the velocity of the standing wave in flute number 2? Well, 331 meters per second plus 0 0.6 times 25 gives us 346 meters per second. So notice because of this difference in temperature, there will be a difference in velocity of the standing waves between flute number 1 and flute number two. Now, because we're dealing with two identical flutes, that means the length of the pipes, the length of the flutes, L1 will equal to L2. That's because they're identical. And that implies that the wavelength in flute 1 will be the same as the wavelength in flute number 2. Now, in step B, we have to use the following two equations to determine the ratio of the frequency in flute 1 to the frequency in flute 2. So our velocity of the standing wave in flute 1 is equal to uh, the product of the frequency 1 and wavelength 1. And the velocity of the standing wave in flute 2 is equal to the product of the frequency 2 and wavelength uh, 2. So, we essentially take this and divide this by this, so we get velocity v1 divided by velocity v2 is equal to the product of lambda1 f1 divided by lambda2 f2. Now, because lambda1 is equal to lambda2, these cancel and we're left with the velocity v1 divided by v2 is equal to f1 divided by f2. Now, v1 is 331, v2 is 340. And we see that the ratio of F1 to F2, the frequency in flute 1 to the frequency in flute 2, is approximately equal to 0 0.96. That basically means that the difference between frequency 1 and frequency 2 is about 4%. So, because the frequency that the two identical flutes try to play is equal to 280 hertz, to find the actual beat frequency, we take 280 hertz and multiply it by 0 0.04 and we get 11.2. So that means the beat frequency is about 11 beats. So every single second, we will hear 11 beats.